So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Yarn's MIDI interface uh, by Mutable Instruments. It's a MIDI interface packed with a lot of really interesting features. Um, just stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, what's up amigos? This is Mayen here, helping you grow your music creative process. So I am a recording artist with labels such as uh, Global Underground, Moody recordings and no robot music, just to name a few. So in this channel, you're going to find kind of like the behind the scenes on how I make music with hardware synthesizers, software synthesizers, what DAW I use, what tips and tricks I have learned in the industry and all that good stuff that makes me become a better producer and uh, it might help you in your music creation process. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I do weekly videos with uh, tips, tricks, and all this other stuff that I've told you before. So yeah, just click subscribe and the bell and yeah. So in this video, I will review the uh, Yarns MIDI interface by Mutable Instruments. I will show you what I like about it. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned, coming up next. Uh, what is Yarns? Yarns is basically a four channel interface, right? but it actually can do a lot more which is really 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 cool so you have different parts right in this layout four parts monophonic you can do polyphonic tracks as well that are going to help you modulate your vcos right obviously you can ch you can control up to like uh 16 channels of midi so like right now i could control like eight different modules of MIDI through the Octatrack, but I can only control four here and I can assign different numbers. Then it has Legato, Portamento, and then you can actually, um, it has an arpeggiator, which is awesome. The MIDI conversions, you can do transportation. You can split the keyboard ranges, which is really cool. So the multiple voice allocation for polyphonic, in the, in the polyphonic mode, Honestly, I I need to try it because uh, it, it just seems like you can do polyrhythms and all this other stuff if you have like a module for like drums, which is really nice. Then, you know, you have the arpeggiator with uh, like the different modes, right? The up, down, uh, up, down, uh, combined and then random and then chords as played, uh, which is really versatile when it comes to a little module like that the other thing that's like really cool is that it has a 64 node sh 101 style uh sequencer so yeah uh i'm a big fan of uh of that synthesizer i don't necessarily like the boutique that much but the sh 101 it is on the list for the future for me to get for my own studio so yeah so you can do all of that right um so it's uh, 12 HP, which doesn't take that more room, much room, but I think it's great. Yeah, I, I think that me trading in my uh, doper, uh, which I can only control to uh, like, I think it was one channel or one part, uh, one BCO, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it, but obviously I wasn't paying attention and I did not do my homework at the beginning. So the other cool thing, right, about this one, I think uh, it also has like a, a digital oscillator, which, you know, you can start generating sounds just like by using yarn and then connecting it to a mixer and then putting the output to, to your sound card. Uh, so that's, that's just really amazing. You can actually start making sounds with just yarns by itself. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now I'm just gonna show you, you know, how like the different parts are going to affect the different modules that I have here and, and yeah that's uh that's kind of like um, my review of yarns so um, the question of the day would be what MIDI interface are you using and why you're using it uh, let me know in the description below or below the description in the comments all right guys thanks so I'm gonna go with the spectrum right now so right now, as you can see, we're gonna have to change the parts, right? Because part one is affecting, is going through channel one. So we need to assign part two to channel two. Then we're gonna have to assign part three to channel three. And then now you're gonna see only one light lighting up. 
This one doesn't matter because I don't have anything running through it. Yeah, how cool is that, right? Okay, so that was the spectrum. Now I'm gonna go with the braids, right? Okay, and last, I'm gonna go with plonk. It's like a little bird. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's uh, one of the features that drew me to yarns. Honestly, Mutable Instruments are just did something really, really, really cool. Yeah, so leave me a comment below. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thanks for, for watching this uh, little review. All right, guys. Bye.